Welcome to Insight Builder channel, data leaders and AI enthusiasts. Steps to get OpenAI chat completion method in your Jupyter notebook or Python environment. If you are like me, you would have been waiting with lot of expectation on the ChatGPT API chat completion method. We have been informed that chat completion uh, model ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo is available right now for everybody to use. We need to have the OpenAI account and in the account you can go and check your API keys. You can check your API keys here. If you have not created, create the API keys and also get your organization key from the settings. Once you get those two details, you can head back to your Jupyter Notebook environment. In the Jupyter Notebook environment, if you first and foremost, you need to upgrade to pip install OpenAI with double equal to sign 0.27.0. .0. You need to execute this and then start importing OpenAI. You can you import config parser to keep your organization and key uh, OpenAI key safe. And then you can uh, use those uh, Python variables in openai.organization and openai.api key variables. After that, you can start directly working with openai.chat completion method. But you might face an issue. So if in case when you come to your in your execution environment, if you come here and type chat, you may not get this chat completion method at all. Even after installing the open AI using pip install open AI double equal to 0 0.27.0, you may not still get this chat completion. In that case, what you have to do is you have to in create a virtual environment, which we will see right now how to do that. Once you create the virtual environment using Python M, using Python M V E N V and open AI virtual environment is the name and then after that, you need to activate the virtual environment and then you need to do a pip install OpenAI as well as Jupyter. Once you do that and then you can come back to the Jupyter notebook environment and if you try get doing the chat completion now, you will be able to get the chat completion method. Once you are able to get the chat completion method, then you can directly use the same syntax that has been provided the syntax that has been provided by the open ai uh, team and you can start getting the replies from chat gpt and it works if you if i execute this particular code right now i would be getting the response you can see the response here connect communicate and conquer with chat gpt that's a wonderful response from an api from an ai and if you want to get only the content, here you go. So you just take this content and use it wherever you want. That is the gist of how you get the chat completion method working on your working on your Jupyter and Python environment. One more important uh, idea that I wanted to share is one more important idea that I wanted to share is that you can move all the code into the python function and this python function i will be adding it in the video description itself you can just copy paste it in your own python environment and give your own organization key and the role the uh, chat gpt ai has to play the role you are uh, you give the role there and you give the request content so in the content you are going to give the request content and this function will return the response, the complete response that you can use it for your own purposes. It is, it has been made so simple and so easy by the OpenAI team. Uh, I personally thank them and I would like everybody to use this for your own uh, best outcomes. Let me go back to my, the presentation. So this is the entire process you need to follow in case if you are OpenAI uh, the chat completion method does not uh, get invoked and 
I hope this content was helpful for you and if you like this content do leave a like if you have any comments do leave a comment in the comment section subscribe to my channel I have other python videos related videos where I go in detail about the various python uh, objects and classes and try to make the things easier for everybody with this see you guys with the next video